back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and this, this is my game three, State of Origin um, 2023 match preview. So now, obviously, we're at the end of the series, um, you know, game one, game two, done and dusted. Now, onto game three, which is the final, I guess, stage of uh, State of Origin. So, unfortunately, it's pretty clear um, to see who's won, and obviously, as a Blues fan, it's heartbreaking to say because Queensland have wrapped up the series for this year. So, uh, it's all about now um, avoiding the, the clean sweep. That's all we can really hope for uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at a cool stadium. So yeah, it's it's a big game. I I I, I still think for the Blues to uh, hopefully get at least one win, but against a team like Queensland, they've just been phenomenal um, across this whole sort of series. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be very hard. But uh, yeah, look, I'm just gonna break down break down some of the key stats and um, key I guess talking points uh, across the game. So um yeah, uh, sit back and enjoy and um yep yeah, uh, time to get into the game three State of Origin preview. So in bigger news first, uh, Spencer Lee knew the talk around him is that he might make his uh, State of Origin debut. Uh, there's some reports saying he will not play, and there's some reports that he will play. So I don't know what to really believe, if we're being honest. Um, but yeah, look, I, I don't know. I, I think I think Freddie knows what he's doing. I think Brad Fittler would, would be the one that would know um, if he's playing or not. So just go wait for his call, I guess. But um, yeah, uh, if he do, if Spencer Lenu does play, it's a big win, I'd say, because obviously he's a um, bit, bit of an enforcer, I, I would say. You know, he's becoming one at least. Uh, brings a lot, of, a lot of aggression, a lot of um, passion to a side, and I think uh, he'd be um, you know ready made for State of Origin in the arena. I think he's that perfect player for it. So uh, yeah, if he plays, it's great because I think that's what Brad Fittler should have done from the start, but of course he didn't. Uh, but if he doesn't, then I'm not too not too shocked after the reports I was seeing he may not play. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, if he does play Spencer Lee, you know, it's a big in, and I back it. On to some key matchups now from both the Blues and the Maroon side. So obviously three players, in my opinion, that uh, that will clash against each other and that will make it a really, I guess, you know, big moment when these players come against each other. So. The very first one is uh, Cody Walker and Cameron Munster. Uh, the second one is the battle of the uh, senses, Brad and Bess and Hammy, so it's happy by Fidel. And the locks, Patrick Harrigan and Cameron Murray. So, first of all, Cody Walker v Cameron Munster. Why that big battle? Because I think now with uh, you know Cody Walker coming to the Origin Arena, he's always been a passionate player and he's always been a classy player, of course. And so Munster, Munster's a bit like Walker in a way, just very aggressive in their runs and uh, are smart, you know, footballers. Um, I guess, you know, Cameron, Cameron Munster's more of a um, unpredictable talent that he, he can provide anything at any time, while Cody Walker is a very dominant attacking force uh, in, in, in the South lineup. So uh, hopefully he's a bit like that during Origin, but um, yeah, who knows? But yeah, I think this is a key matchup because I think both these players are you know, on the backbone of what both attacks will be made of. So I'd say these two would uh, be really, really crucial for both Blues and the Maroons. Um, the Battle of the Centres. Now, you might go, why why have Brad and Best be Hamaso tapped by Fido? I mean, Hamaso has been one of the best centres of um, the Origin um, series, if not the best. Well, I think this is a key matchup still between him, him and Best because I think Brad and Best is a big enough body to tackle down. Um, Hammer so I think I think they're playing on the same side, but if they're not, I still think uh, you know Brad and Best and him being the opposite numbers uh, is you know still something that I think you know still comes into consideration as something big because I think Best you know like I said, like I made my, I made a video last uh, last week uh, about why I think Brad and Best is ready for State of Origin, so I think uh, you know I think he he um, you know will be ready to have a big game. And same with Hamiso to try and go for the three and zero, um, I guess you know streak of the three and zero streak for Origin. But uh, yeah, look, I, I think um, Brad and Best, you know, it will be key to how we do attack because I think also the ball has not been uh, given out to our outside men enough, like the wingers and stuff. So hopefully Brad and Best can provide Josh Adokar with some ball. And the last one is um, Cameron Murray versus Patrick Carrigan now. Obviously, now there's been a bit of a change. So Cameron Murray has started, is now going to start lock. 
and Patrick Arrigan is obviously the lock anyway, who started for Queensland in both game one, game two. But uh, yeah, now Isaiah Yo has been dropped, dropped to the bench. It's, it's now Murray v uh, Carrigan, and, and see these two are great tacklers and also great defenders, but are also great attacking weapons as well. Like Murray for the, the Rabbitohs is such a dominant force in their attack. Um, you know, very quick gives quick play of the balls and you know he's obviously carves up through the middle as always. Uh, and Carrigan's literally the same because Carrigan's a smart footballer. We, we all see that through, um, I guess, when he's mic'd up and how good of a leader he is when he talks to the, the to the group. Um, but yeah, look, he's good in attack as well. He's been, I, I guess, pretty big for the Maroons. So I do believe this is a key matchup, and whoever plays well, I think, will have a big part onto why their state wins. But uh, that there is my three uh, key matchups for both um, states. Okay, on to my anytime try scorer and first try scorer predictions. Uh, as always, very okay. On to my anytime try scorer and first try scorer predictions. Uh, as always, very tough because I think you know we can go. It can go either way. It can be anyone at any time. Uh, but first try scorer, I'll start with first. Uh, I reckon the Blues will score first at home at a core cool stadium. So I will go Brian Toto first try. I just think there'll be some good ball uh, to him uh, down that. Uh, what side would he play? Left hand side. I think he'll get some good ball there and uh, hopefully, you know, exploit that edge and score first, which I think he will. Uh, anytime try scorers, I'm going to go with James Tedesco, um, Keon Kanal Matangi on Origin debut. I'm, I'm really keen to see how he goes in debut. And I'll also go with, um, uh, let's go. Liam Martin as well. I think Liam Martin could even be a shot of scoring a try. And for the Maroons, who I think any time try scorers could be for them, I reckon Cameron Munster, uh, Xavier Coates, and uh, one lucky last one, I think Dave, Dave Fafita as well. I think he's a fair shot of scoring uh, a try uh, on Wednesday tomorrow night as well. On to my final tip for Game 3 of State of Origin now. I want to back the Blues. I really want to because, you know, they're my state, obviously. So I want to do uh, get behind them and believe they'll win. But again, Mitchell Moses is there. He's a failure in origin. Uh, so I think he'd contribute to the one of the reasons why we, we won't win. But I think just Queensland in general have a more settled team. We've got too many changes. Freddie's making changes uh, every time now and it's not consistent. We don't build enough cohesion. Uh, by changing every week, or every time the team's name, sorry. But, uh, yeah, look, I, th I think uh, Queensland will be too strong. I just think Queensland will unfortunately get that 3-0, um, you know, ex what, they're, what they're expecting to get, that 3-0, uh, I guess, wins of, uh, the, of the series. Uh, I think Blues will be in it. I think it'll be, really, it'll be a really close game, I think. But uh, Queensland will settle. They've got more, um, I guess, chance of uh, just... Being the better side on the day, I guess, and the only change they have for um for their side is that uh, AJ Brimson comes in for Reese Walsh, who is suspended. So uh yeah, other than that, they're a pretty settled team. So I think Queensland will unfortunately win one to twelve, and uh, like I said, first try scorer will be for the Blues though, Brian Toto. But um. Everyone, that brings an end to my State of Origin Game 3 match preview. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. My goal is to get to 3,500 subscribers, uh, hopefully by next month. And comment your tips in the comment section down below. But until then, enjoy Origin football and go the Blues.